dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Good evening, I'm Keaton Hall. Life has not moved since July. That's what a Knott County couple said today as they've been trapped at their home since the flood. WYMT's Chandler Wilcox sat down with the couple to hear how they're living without the ability to get out anywhere on their own. More than four months have passed since the bridge connecting Ian and Casey's home to the highway was intact, and since the devastating day it collapsed, they have lived on an island. We, we live in these four walls day after day. We wake up here, we spend our entire day here, we fall asleep here. I work from home now because I can't get out. They applied for FEMA aid, but they were denied. Knott County officials told them contractors could soon be out to help repair the bridge if FEMA were to approve the project, but that was more than a month ago. Their only way out is a walk through their neighbor's yard. So we have two vehicles. We both have a car. But unfortunately, both of those vehicles have been stuck on the wrong side of the bridge since it collapsed. Ian's mom brings them groceries, but he has missed crucial doctor's appointments. Yeah, I had an appointment, a uh, pretty important cancer screening, scheduled for about a week after the flood. So that had to be changed. Um, and that's been changed indefinitely. We've not had a chance to reschedule that. They do not have the space or money to move out, and the house is already a sentimental piece of their lives. To leave it just seems like a loss, another loss. Being stuck at their home has also caused stress and anxiety to Ian and Casey's lives, still unsure when they can get out on their own again. In Knott County, Chandler Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Casey Hall says their only interaction they're getting with people outside of their neighbors is the four kids she teaches online. Gloomy weather continues across the mountains as we close out the weekend, but some good news. We are tracking some sunshine as we get into your new work week. Here is a live look over at the London Corbin Airport, looking at plenty of cloud cover this evening. Current temperature chilly, 47 degrees. Also notice the wind a little bit breezy coming out of the north at seven miles per hour over at the airport. Temperatures middle to upper 40s for most of us, 45 in Jackson, 46 for Somerset and 49 over in Manchester. So you may need the coat as you step out the door this evening. The good news up on pinpoint Doppler, a clean sweep and that dry weather will continue as we go towards the rest of tonight. Like I said, if you have any plans, you may need the jacket a little bit chilly out there. Temperatures falling into the middle and lower 40s, upper 30s as we wake up on Monday. But like I said, some sunshine is set to return on Monday, but it's short lived as we are tracking some more rain chances by midweek. That full first alert forecast coming up in just a little bit. Keaton. Thank you, Cameron. A man infamous in Kentucky for faking a mental disability and begging for money has been arrested by the Paintsville Police Department. Gary Thompson, also known as the bogus beggar, has a history in the Commonwealth. Thompson is from Louisville, where our sister station Wave News followed his story for years. He's been jailed and chased out of places all across Kentucky. Officials with the Pikeville Police Department recently received complaints that Thompson was now in the region. Thompson faces several charges, including criminal trespassing, soliciting, unlawful compensation, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. This weekend marks one year since a deadly tornado outbreak struck western Kentucky. A total of 19 tornadoes hit the state, impacting 16 Kentucky counties. 81 Kentuckians were killed. Yesterday in Graves County, Governor Bashir says more than $800 million has gone into rebuilding the Mayfield area, adding that the remainder of the team Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund is going back into the community. For anyone who qualified for even $1 of FEMA, I'm here to tell you starting today, there are 10,000 checks going out for $1,000 apiece to these families. That's the remaining $10 million of this fund. Habitat for Humanity is also currently building nine homes for torna tornado survivors, with three more set to begin construction in the near future. Kentucky's sale ta sales tax will be changing in the new year and will affect more than 30 different services. That means you could see a 6% sales tax added to your water, sewer, and electrical bill. 
There's an exemption form, though, that Kentuckians can fill out and submit to your utility companies to make sure you're not mistakenly taxed. The deadline to apply is December 15th, and providers want to make sure you don't miss it. If you're a renter and you get a water bill, a sewer bill, electric bill, I'm going to presume that's your primary residence if you're a renter. It's likely that you don't own a house someplace else when you're renting here, right? So if that's the case, you should be fine. Now, ultimately, according to House Bill 8 that became law this past year, everyone is going to be expected to ultimately declare, either through their company or whatever else, this is my primary residence. But their focus right now is going to be on those multiple meters. If you have more than one bill coming in, because they won't be able to tell the difference between, again, the one meter versus the next. If you're part of any of the 26 co-ops across the state, You'll have to print out the form, fill it out, and turn it in to your provider. We've got more information on that on our website. There's welcome news at the gas pump lately. Prices continue to drop. The national average now sits at just over $3.27 a gallon, less than it was this time a year ago. What's driving the drop? Declining demand for gas just as production is starting to grow again. Lower prices are likely to ease inflation, but lower demand could be an early sign of tough economic times which could include a recession. And even though AAA says OPEC could slash production once again, they believe December will see improved prices overall. We're expecting the downward trend to continue despite that. And so that is kind of a, a happy uh, Christmas gift, as you will, for drivers this year. We do expect some relief at the pump, and I will not be surprised if we can get below a last year's level before the year is out. Meanwhile, the average price of gas in Kentucky is around $2.99 a gallon. Over the last four months, one Knott County church has offered giveaways for flood victims every day. But today, church members aim to host their last giveaway so they can transition into another flood relief project. WYMT's Alyssa Williams has more. The Hindman United Methodist Church has been a key contributor to flood relief since July, hosting giveaways and housing recovery groups over the last four months. As soon as we would get, get low on something, we'd get a call and somebody else had another truckload to bring us. And on Sunday, people lined up outside of the church to take part in its largest giveaway yet. We have about 58 bikes to be given away. Some of those are brand new and we've got still have uh, lots of blankets and uh, some furniture and we've got some furniture we're sitting out in the parking lot also and hopefully we can just get rid of um, everything that we have. Those with the church say they are looking to shift their focus from providing giveaways to helping people rebuild. People will call and say, you know, what do you need? What we really need right now are work teams, uh, particularly skilled work teams that can come in and do drywall, do plumbing, do electrical work, uh, do underpinning, build steps. Um, so we can house groups here uh, if they're self-sufficient. Church members say it has been humbling to help flood survivors in the last several months, but helping families to have an even brighter holiday season makes things even better. Oh, we're just blessed. It just makes us just feeling so blessed that we can just help them. And it's what Christmas is all about is giving and we want to give aiming to be the hands and feet of Jesus to help people in need. In Hindman, Alyssa Williams, WYMT Mountain News. Those with the Hindman United Methodist Church say although the give giveaways are coming to an end, if you or someone you know still has a need, they want to help you in any way they can. The Hazard Perry County Women's Club hosted their annual tour of homes today. Four homes in the county were set up with all kinds of Christmas decorations for tourists to see. Each home had their own unique designs to raise the Christmas spirit. Women's Club member Sherry Birchall says this tradition is always a hit. Everybody goes all out every year. This year, we people look forward to coming because it's something to start the holidays off. And we have anywhere from 100 to 200 people that usually come through on the tour. The Women's Club also held a silent auction for the event. That money went to support the community. An activist is walking 50 hours across Lexington, hoping to raise $50,000. Divine Karma is raising money for his annual A Coat to Keep the Cold Away Youth Coat Drive. Normally, they give away about 3,000 coats, but this year, he says he's seen a much bigger need than usual. 
His organization, his organization Believing in Forever, received 5,000 coat requests. We need more love, and so hopefully when people see me out here today, that's what they remember, that's what they think of, and then they go back home and say, okay, how can I get back? What can I do? And that's what I hope people get out of seeing me out here. Believing in Forever is accepting donations until Tuesday. For more information on how you can donate, head to this story on our website, WIMT.com. Coming up at 6, we take a look at a health issue that doctors say we need to watch out for, especially this time of year. And the weather is gloomy this evening, but sunshine is set to return on your Monday. That full first alert forecast coming up.